What's going on, my home lab nerds? We got an issue with the Proxmox cluster. See this RAM? That's not going to cut it. This one also has 16, but let me show you guys how to upgrade this and do it safely. So the first thing that you want to do is go to any of your nodes that already have running machines on them, select it, go to options and ensure that this is going to start on next boot by clicking edit, clicking check and clicking OK. So that will do that. Do that to all your machines. And then once that's done, we can go up to the node, go to bulk actions and bulk shut down. This one sure all of our machines do not shut down abruptly. They go through the proper closing process. And now let's go upgrade our machines. All right, and just like that, these are powered off. I'm gonna unplug them, push them out the back. Let's take them over to the table and we'll get the RAM upgraded. Okay, and just like that, we have it on the table. And there's a little thumb screw right here. So we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this. Push to the front. Move this over to the side. And then our RAM is going to be right under here, under this fan. So you have to squeeze these and push up kind of straight. They can be a little bit of a struggle to get out. As you can see, that one side doesn't want to come out. Our RAM is right here. And so this is just like CPU RAM. So you'll take your thumbs or fingers, you'll push out the sides, it will pop up and you'll pull those out and set those to the side. And then we'll take our new RAM, Dimdeck, sponsor me. And we'll pull this out and we'll put them right back in in the reverse, get them plugged in, boot them back up, open up Proxmox, and let's see if these bad boys work. So just like that, push in at about a 45 degree angle, push down until you hear the click, make sure both side pieces go on, flip your fan shroud over, make sure it clips in, take your front panel, put it on so it's almost to the back, a little bit gap. If you put it back too far, it won't shut. Slide, tighten the thumb screw, and plug that bad boy back in. Second to last step, come over, turn your machine on, and let's go over to Proxmox and make sure that all our virtual machines boot it up. And just like that, we can see all our virtual machines booted back up after we powered it on. And now we have 32 gigs of RAM. Stay tuned and follow our channel for more videos and home up content just like this. My name is Abe. Thank you for watching.